Greetings, everybody. My name is Ville Hermann Nivala from band called him from Helsinki, Finland. And at the moment, you have the pleasure of enjoying Toasted.nl. Have fun and um, have more fun. And then the funnest. And then die. Later. Hello, welcome. Oh, thank you, thank you. Good to be back here in yeah. sweet Amsterdam. Playing the Paradiso. Uh, uh, yes, yeah. usually. Uh, but the first time we played uh, Amsterdam was uh, the smaller side of uh, Melkweg. Uh. But uh, but uh, same, ever since that, um, it's been Paradiso. You know. Which one's better? Uh, Paradiso because, uh, you know, it reminds me of uh, Bad Brains. Mm -hmm. I grew up listening to Bad Brains. The youth are getting restless. Their live album was recorded there, so... Uh, that's one of the reasons that, that um, you know that's very special to me, and then the fact that it is church, mm. so uh, it's a, it's a very unusual place to play, and still the acoustics are pretty good and all that. So, in Amsterdam, you know, it's it's a good party town. Yeah. It was, you know, back in the day when we started touring, it was all crazy. Yeah. Okay, yeah, there's a new album, Screamworks. Mm, yes. Were people as shocked as you expected them to be when it was released? Well, you know, the album's just been out for for a sec, so you know, for like what three weeks or something like that. So I don't know, you know, a lot of you know, a lot of people like it, and I haven't met anybody who'd hate it. But uh, then again, there's there's a lot of people who haven't bought it, so I guess that there are people who dislike mm -hmm. the album and the band. So. So we'll see what happens. It's, it's tough times for uh, for a rock band. Mm. You know, rock doesn't sell. Mm, no. yeah. yeah, you said that this album um, sounds more straightforward. And where have you been listening to when you were writing the songs? Mm. Usually when working on um, I don't listen to a lot of music, and neither does the band. You know, it's um, there's no time. But um, um, so I guess more about you know stuff we have you know they're embedded in our brains you know all that all the classic black sabbaths and james addictions and all that stuff but then again um i think that the reason for it being more straightforward is the fact that uh that the album we did before called venus doom that was very complex in in the world of him uh it, it was for us a very progressive um you know weird doomy gloomy surreal you know experimental album so i guess that it's very natural to do something a bit more direct and straightforward and just forward and in your face and all that but i don't know Are you happy with it in the end or would you do something different now um um uh, do something different well nah I'm, I'm, i think it's a really really good rock album and i'm i'm and i i'm super disappointed if it doesn't do well because I think, you know, if when it comes to rock album being melodic, you know, big choruses, a lot of um, hats off to the 80s, like Slash and a lot of slashy guitar things and all that, I think it can get a lot better in that world. But if, if that's something that people are not interested, then, you know, fuck them. What's the best song? Um, um, uh, this song called Catherine Wheel. I was gonna ask you about that later, actually. Oh right, yeah, yeah. It's just um, it's one of the songs that uh, I like a song when when you start working on a song that um, sounds good on an acoustic guitar, and uh, it's a very simple song, and then all of a sudden we just get it right with the band and it took a long time it, it's a very simple song and very short one but it took us a long time to um, get a sound good and uh, I'm, I'm really happy with that one mm. 
So where is it about? Um, well, it's about several Catherines. Um, well, Catherine well, was a was a term for a. Uh, well, there's a there's a lot of it's tough to say. It's, um, Catherine, well, you know, it's, uh, on a level, it's about Catherine of Alexandria, Saint Catherine, mm -hmm. um, who was uh, supposedly uh, uh, supposedly they tried to kill her on a breaking wheel. They called it, like tied up on a wheel, and broke all her limbs, and and uh, but then the wheel broke, and they at the end of the day they beheaded her, and uh, all the uh, religious art with uh, Saint Catherine. She's always carrying a broken wheel with her, mm -hmm. and that was just a torture method at the time. Um, I don't necessarily believe in linearity of time, so uh, I like the the idea of a revolving motion. I like the wheel because I think that you know what goes around comes around, and uh, it, it, life in, in itself is kind of repetitious, and um, it's like the vibe of being tied to a wheel, and the wheel being life in essence, and being love, and being the emotions. I can't control the submissive nature of um, of a relationship, and that's the Catherine wheel okay. for me. So it's, it's kind of a combination of, of a you know a torture method, which sounds kind of crazy, and then again it's a it's kind of me serenading the lady as a torture method. You know, it's very submissive. It's like you know, um, it's not. I'm not into S and M. But uh, on a on a like a, on a poetic level, it's kind of S and M. But it's it's a, for me, it's a positive song. You know, it's a, it might have weird lyrics, but it's not it's not. Um, uh, you know, I, I don't know how people see it. Yeah, there's one sentence in it. Uh, it's like in a world giving head to gun. Wh what's that about? What does that mean? Oh right, that one. Um, it's um, holding hands won't be enough in a world giving head to a gun. Um, well, for me, it means the fact that um, a lot of this kind of blue-eyed romanticism uh, doesn't exist and won't, ex you know, can't kind of exist anymore because people just want more extremes. The drugs are getting more extreme, TV is getting more extreme, violence is getting more extreme, the whole world is getting crazier and crazier by the day, so holding hands is not, it's just, it's not, not enough because it seems that the world is committing a suicide and liking it, mm. you know, you know, sucking on a gun, fellating a gun. I just like the image of it. Um, and you know, it's, it's about the kind of, um, the, the, the classic romantic, uh, uh late 1800 1800s, the, the way of thinking, um, um, thinking that emotion should rule, not the intellect. And, and you know, science doesn't matter. Imagination is what what matters. And, and uh, I'm a daydreamer myself, so uh, uh, that makes me a romantic in the in the old school way. way. And uh, and uh, it just it just feels that there's not a lot of space. There's a lot of expectations nowadays. People just want you know. People just talk about careers and money and you know fucking recessions and and whatever and. People don't talk enough about flowers and sunshine and, and, and the rain and art and colors. Do you make enough money um, with the band to, to live with it? Oh uh, yeah, for the past ten years, um, um, you know, we're glad it's really tough in the world of um, music. But uh, I've been able to pay my bills since what two thousand something like that. So it's pretty good, pretty good. But um, um, but the flowers are withering away if you don't water them. So uh, phew. so uh, uh, so it's it's a cont cont continuous struggle, and there's always more songs to write. But I'm I'm really glad that we don't have to have you know it would be impossible for us to have a second job and mm -hmm. tour. That's what we did for the first couple of years. You know, um, I was working in my dad's. Uh, he has a sex shop in Helsinki, so I was working there part time. Um, our bass player Miguel was working at the gardening 
district of whatever Helsing or whatever it's called. He was like collecting dog shit from the gardens and, and you know the park thing, you know whatever. So um, so uh, it was really really tough at that time because you had we had to do like three. We had to be in Amsterdam at the same time as being in Helsinki and at the same time record an album and at the same time play the album and work the songs and stuff like that. So I'm glad that we've been able to, um, you know, sell, a, sell enough of Hardigram t-shirts to um, to uh, keep us going. It doesn't have to make any sense at all. Come hither and we'll fall. No, we'll fall. Love, crawling out of patience, baby. Your band for 15 years now this year. So how do you look Probably back more. on it? You know, well, we've known each other for such a long time that I, I'd say that the the first version of band we probably started in '91 or '92. So it's going to be 20 years next yeah. year. Are you doing anything special to celebrate that for the fans, maybe? Well, hopefully, split up. <laughs> uh, 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 That's not what they want to hear, I assume. Well, you know, it's uh, you know, I don't know. Probably take a sabbatical. Take a year off. I, I don't know. It's uh, uh, it's all depending on on how well the album does. You know, if if people like what they hear and if they want us to tour, um, then it means that we're going to be on tour and we're going to play the new songs and the old songs to whomever wants to hear it. But if there's not, if nobody wants that, you know, then you know I'm probably you know Miguel's going to start collecting dog shit and I'm going to be you know selling dildos <laughs> for the rest of my life. You know. Um, I don't know. Music is a funny thing. You never know what, what's going to be successful the next day. So, mm. so we're really glad that we've been able to sustain ourselves for such a long time already. So is that how you see him end then? So as long, I mean, as soon as you don't sell any records anymore, you're just going to quit? No, I won't quit making music, but uh, um, uh, you can't tour for free. You know, the expenses are ridiculous. Yeah. There's the hotels you got to pay, the instruments you have to play, uh, pay for, strings for the instruments, microphones. There's a, there's a lot of expenses. Touring is not like um, uh, you don't. We don't make any money off of the ticket sales. We we make some money off the of t-shirts if people buy them. So it, it's not a lucrative business business in that sense. It used to be, you know, the CDs you used to sell. So we're kind of funny, you know. We're a band who recorded their first album on tape. And the next one on Pro Tools, you know, it was kind of like a digital revolution when it comes to recording albums. Same thing that we um, we still had an album called Razorblade Remaster came out in 2000, and that was at the time when CDs sold. So we had, you know, hundreds of thousands of CDs sold, and now it's just going down, down, down. Everybody's downloading music, and that will mean one day that uh, you know musicians can't afford mm -hmm. to do music anymore, which is kind of fucked up. But uh, we'll see. Will we die? There's uh, the him rock band package now. Yeah, I heard about it, but I haven't played rock oh. band. I haven't played um, um, Guitar Hero or Rock Band or any of those games. I don't know. And, you know, it's like if you download that thing, we're going to get, what, a couple of cents off of it. <laughs> so it's not going to make us rich. Mm -hmm. You planning to play it? The game. I have, you know, if they give it to me, I don't know. But I've got an Xbox mm. 360 back home. But, uh, that, was, that was my way of trying to... Uh, quit drink, you know, back in the day, you know, that I'm going to buy myself a game, mm -hmm. so I'm not drinking, if I, I failed miserably, and uh, so I haven't, I'm, I'm not a big gamer. I grew up uh, with uh, Commodore 64 mm -hmm. and Vic 20, and the the really old school Ataris, like the, the, you know, with the two white things, you know, the tennis game and stuff like that, that was my cup of tea, so I'm, I'm, I'm pretty bad with those games. <laughs>
you don't have an internet connection. Oh, but nowadays I do. Uh, but for for a long, long time, I didn't have an email, uh, and uh, I didn't have internet connection uh, back home. Uh, I didn't even have a computer. But um, then I started working on Pro Tools, and then uh, since our record label is based in uh, Burbank, California, <coughs> in Los Angeles, basically, it's, uh, it's it's impossible to be in touch without you know. But um. Like now, I'm traveling without a laptop. I don't, you know, I don't, I don't want to read my emails. I hate emails. That just makes me nervous. The attention span of people is so short. You know, it's just, it's crazy mm. how it is. So, what do you think of the internet in general? Um, um, uh, what would I think of it? Um, let's say I'd I like to see the world without without it, because like the 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 amount of information. Um, is so vast and it's so unreliable, and but you know books are unreliable too. But usually there's a lot of people who check books out, you know, editors and stuff like that before they go into print. So they usually I, I trust in books more than than you know let's say a Wikipedia or whatever that can be you know edited fairly easily. Um, the amount of information is just crazy, and I see it myself, and a lot of people see you know when you log on to a fucking, you know, whatever the site might be, you like a news site. Mm. After 45 minutes, you don't know why, but you, you're on a site like looking for some, like, non-porn. There's no, like, reason for it. It's, uh, I think it's a waste of space. You know, it's a waste of, con you know, it, it has killed a lot of concentration. It makes me really nervous and makes a lot of people really ADD, mm. you know. It's better to read one book at a time rather than have, like, a gazillion different things going on. Um, I try to read a bit on tour. What are you reading right now? Um, I've got, I've got three books or four. I've got one collection of poems. Up. I actually, you know, the cool thing about being in this band is that uh, that uh, um, it's a lot of a lot of fans that give us books to read, and that's why I get I got a collection of poems by an unknown un unknown guy. Um, uh, given to me yesterday, and then uh, another book. I can't remember its title, but like that, something I can't remember or whatever. But it, it was really interesting. I've got a book by Liz, something called The Rapture. I bought from the airport. Uh, looks pretty good. And then I'm reading The Gospel of Filth, the kind of history of of the band Cradle of Filth. Got a really cool edition. Looks like an old Bible and. It's a heavy duty book. There's a lot of it's very dense. It's got a lot of information, so I was thinking that uh, I'm gonna travel with it. So um maybe I maybe I'm able to finish it before I go home. There's a lot of time to kill on the bus. So uh, it's it's good time to read. So what's your favorite book then? Of all time. Um Well I, I think I'm probably searching for one. There's not but there's not a book that I've I, I would have read more than maybe twice. Metamorphosis by uh, Franz, Ka you know, by Kafka, mm -hmm. was one I really liked when I was younger. Um, mm, Will Christopher Bear's uh, Pain Dreadful. Uh, there's like a series of books he made. I like Chuck Chuck Palahniuk because he's different. Um, um, no, I, I, I don't have one favorite. No, there's not a book I would go back to. Maybe maybe b the Bible because uh, I've used the Bible as uh, wallpaper in my toilet. <laughs> so okay, but you never read it. No, I read it every time I take a shit. Last time Toasted interviewed you, um, you made a joke about animal clothing, him animal clothing line. Um, did you design one yet? Uh, animal clothing line. We're vegans. We can't use any animal products. Uh, well, I'm I'm nearly vegan. I do eat chocolate, but mm. so I do, you know, um, use dairy products. No clothing line. It's, it's, it's you know it'd be, it'd be lovely, but the problem with this band is like we're like um, I don't know if you have that um, cartoon here for the kids called a uh, Barber Papa, Papa. That thing that just changes its shape. We're like those. 
Okay. You know, it's like Miguel is getting bigger by the day, and then all of a sudden he becomes really thin. Gas is doing the same. We just expand. We're like those barba whatever creatures. So uh, it's important. It's impossible to really start designing anything because everybody everybody's you know different size every day. So uh, maybe if there's like a way of uh, designing clothes that would would change their size, that would be a big hit, I think, oh, yeah. in like H and M. But uh, we'll see. Hmm. We'll see. It's okay. not. It's not. Let's say it's not. It's not the first thing in my mind at the moment. Uh, yeah, your dad uh, has a sex shop and he's selling him items like handcuffs and whips. Yeah. Can we expect a him dildo soon? I think Ramstein already did that dildo line thing, and they're not even. Yeah, it's, it's bullshit. They they weren't. They're not even having sex on that video. Um, uh, no, no. Yeah. Why? You know, it's you know, it's like <laughs> no. My dad has a sex shop. I've got a band. But he's selling your stuff. He's selling things of your band. Yeah, well, he, he's got a friend who does, like, S&M jewelry and stuff like that for, um, you know, like, um, like the real whips and stuff like that. Not just, you know, like, you know, trendy whips you have, like, like proper whips and stuff like that. And he made a few with him logos and stuff like that. Because, you know, we just thought that if, if people want to buy them, you know, more parts my daddy. So uh, that was the idea. So um, maybe we do blow up dolls. No, that would be good. Of you? No, of guys. I want to fuck guys <laughs> up the ass. We could do like a, a, a hermaphrodite gas yeah, with a puss and a dick. Okay, that sounds very nice. I'd buy one. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, Is your dad proud of you? <laughs> uh, I don't know. You gotta ask him. Uh, I'm proud of him. You know, I'm. Uh, you know. Uh, I'm happy to have a dad such as him. He's a, he's a cool guy. So is my mom. I've got a little brother too, and he's really nice and, and all that. I've got a great family. festivals lined up yet hopefully we're doing the big ones i don't know like empty uh, rock and ring rock and park download um we're doing sunny sphere in finland um there's one in switzerland i think we're working on or it's confirmed i, I to be honest with you i don't know pink pop um i, I don't know I, I, but the people in people in holland they just hate us mm -hmm. why is that um it seems that it's not really a rock country it's not it's funny you, you you have like this great bands like gathering or whatever you know and uh, amsterdam used to be a rock town but it's not anymore you know it hasn't been for years it's just you rock. still sell out paradiso but that's you know to be honest with you you got to be you got to be realistic that's because a lot of people can travel easily to amsterdam it's a great reason for germans to come over it's a great reason for english people to come over just hang out you know, smoke the weed, do the fucking, you know, the, the Amsterdam thing. You know, so it's not just Dutch people who would be here. Mm -hmm. So um, it's a tough, I know that like bands like Green Day, they're really big, but you gotta be really big. It's, it's a tough country, it's like France. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's a tough, tough country for, uh, for rock music. If, if you're not U2, if you're not huge. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're trying our best and you know, it's, uh, um, I like the electronic music scene here, but it's, it's funny, you know, in Amsterdam, for example, you used to have a lot of clubs, rock clubs, just like, what, well, six years ago, and there's none at the moment, and then people are really fucked up on drugs, you know, like heavy-duty drugs, so it's changed a bit. Mm. Do you still like us then? Yeah, yeah, I love it. You know, it's it's not about that. It's not about that. Uh, but you know, but I find it great that we have the opportunity of being here and you know doing everything we we do. But it's tough. It's just uh, it's like Japan. You know, it's like it's a tough country. You know, it's a uh, it's uh, you can't be really popular everywhere. Mm -hmm. We we're trying our best, and we 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 you know that's the reason why we're here. But uh, it's one step at a time, and and uh, maybe one day we we'll, we'll make an album that uh, will be hugely successful over here. You never know. Oh, 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 oh,